Hey everybody, what's going on? It's your man, Corey. Welcome to the Digital Dash, where I'll be giving you guys tips on how to market your songs and get those numbers booming. Now, for those of you who don't know who I am, I'm a digital marketer myself. I specialize in helping artists like you guys get their songs heard through platforms like Spotify, Instagram, YouTube, and various others. If you want to learn a little more about me, you can check out me and Sean's interview. I'll make sure to put that link in the description below. Now, today, what I want to talk to you guys about is how to find and build your audience. This is really a crucial step in any marketing campaign as you'll want to figure out who you're going to be targeting your marketing dollars towards. You don't really want to cram square pegs into circular holes if you know what I mean. Now one of the easiest ways to do this, or should I say some of the easiest ways to do this, is by building a fan profile and figuring out which artists are similar to you, whether it be in content, style, music, or just similar types of movement. Now what exactly is a fan profile? A fan profile is pretty much a picturesque description of what your ideal fan would look like. It pretty much includes things like demographic, what they may or may not be interested in, and just any other things that may define your brand that you think that fans will like from you. As a matter of fact, I want to show you guys how to build a crude version of a fan profile so that you can do it for yourself. All right, guys, so here we have a very basic and crude version of a fan profile. As you can see, it lists out some characteristics such as age, race, education, hobbies and likes, and the preferred social media. If you would like, you can definitely get as in-depth as you would want to. Like I said, this is just a crude version to get you all started so that you can get the ball rolling on your own end. So what you will want to do is go through and fill out each of these characteristics to the best of your abilities based on things that you think will make up your ideal fan or common characteristics that you've seen amongst fans that you already have. You know, maybe uh, based on the people that you see popping out at your shows or the types of people that you already see supporting your music on these streaming platforms and these social media platforms. Then what you will want to do is give this plan to a marketer like myself and say, hey, these are the people that we need to be targeting. This is my target demographic. We need to be figuring out what Spotify playlist they're listening to and getting me placed onto those playlists. We need to be figuring out what Instagram pages they're following and seeing how we can create content that makes sense for their page. We need to be figuring out what YouTubers they're watching and seeing how we can connect with these YouTubers and get something going. Or if you're doing it all on your own, this is pretty much your stepping stone to figuring out where you need to spend your marketing dollars and in what manner towards what people. Uh, so yeah, like I said, guys, this is pretty much just the first step that you want to take in your marketing plan is building one of these fan profiles. I would love to check out the ones that you guys make. You can send them over to me on my Instagram page or feel free to drop some comments in the section below talking about what you think will be included in yours. So like I said, building a fan profile is one of the easiest ways to figure out who you want to target. It helps to give you an idea of what your fan looks like and makes everything a lot easier in that aspect. Now, the next thing that you guys will want to do is find artists that are similar to you, whether it be in music content, style, uh, the way that you guys dress, or even the types of movements that you have going on. Now, this, in my opinion, is one of the hardest things for artists to do as it gets hard for you guys to compare yourselves to other artists. I hear you. I understand. There's nothing like you under the sun. You're new. But trust me, guys, to someone who's never heard of you before, you sound like someone. It's in your best interest to find out who these people are so that way you can kind of build upon already established fan bases and start to kind of poach fan bases away from these people and bring them on to what you have going on. This is one of the easiest ways to do it as it's kind of proven that there are people out there who like your music, they already listen to other things, and you just have to kind of go figure out where they are and figure out how to bring them on board with what you have going on. Now, if you really do have trouble in figuring out who you could be similar to, think of it this way. Let's say that a promoter calls you up and is like, hey, I have this artist that's coming to town and I want you to come open up for them. Who in your mind do you think will have an audience that will be receptive to you and your music? If you're making music that's more on the conscious level, more like a J. Cole or like a Kendrick type, do you think you could open up for a Lil Pump or that type of artist? If you were making more of the trap music, do you think you could open up for Ariana Grande? Thinking of it in this term does help you figure out like, okay, what groups of people are out there that like the type of music that I make and who are they already listening to? So like I said, guys, finding and building your audience is easy. There are people out there who like your music. You just have to go out and find these people. The best way to do this is by building a fan profile so that you can figure out what your fan looks like and by finding artists that are similar to you, whether it be in style, music, content, or whatever it is, just so that you can build upon already established fan bases and start to steal away people who would like what you're doing. Now, if you feel like you learned anything today, guys, please like and share this video. Once again, my name is Corey, and I'll see y'all next time.